Hey guys, Ron Anik here at the Black Axe Ranch located in Aiken County, Minnesota. Welcome back. These bison are looking a little bit hungry here, so I think we're going to give them some hay. They always enjoy that, and uh, by the looks of things, I better hurry because the sun's starting to go down. Who's hungry, huh? You hungry, bud? Hungry? How about you, young one? Oh, yeah. Here he comes. Yeah, you're gonna get fed. You don't have to push. Don't get pushy. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. He's telling them to get away, get back. He says it's all his, apparently. Okay, if you could move right to there. <laughs> oh, stop it. Wind. All right, let's see if we calculate it right. Ah, oh, not enough to get over there. Stop. I tried. I tried for a little entertainment, folks. Sorry. Oh, shit. Sure. Kim wouldn't cooperate. I got them, though. Are you causing trouble? No. Yeah? yeah you are. Are we going to have to put him in with Thor? No. A little bit of Thor discipline? Uh, maybe uh, you can yeah, put him out here. Uh, 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 uh. You can let him out here. <laughs> yeah, right. Look at her looking at me. Giving me the side eye. Ignoring you. <laughs> yeah, they are. Yeah. I'm trying to give them what's left on the string because it's a little waste. You're not working too well here, huh? Nope. <laughs> no. I don't think that yeah. handful yeah, competes, that competes with the whole bale. Yeah, big, yeah, yeah, with the chunk in front of them. Yeah. Thor is <clears throat> amused by your attempt. <laughs> And then look at Sapphire's probably got the most. Yeah, she's got her own pile right over there. Yeah. Between her and Empress has a bigger pile. Yeah, I don't think Thor has realized it yet. He will, he'll be over there. Oh, yeah, she did take it. That's for me. Whoop, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Playing with death there. Yeah, make sure you step all over it. Yeah, all right. Probably pee on it next. What a pig, huh? Yeah, it's easy to suggest that when you're not the one doing it. Well, if he's busy. Yeah, right. I mean, the girls 
I don't, the isn't gonna care. I don't think so. Yeah, Empress has her own piece. She's, she's getting it. Hey guys. Just wanted to say a little word here real quick. Now, ordinarily I'm not the, uh, you know, self-advertising kind of guys, but, uh, you know, I just wanted to point out that we do have a members section to our channel now, and uh, we've been putting up quite a bit of content that uh, members only can see. So if you want to see more, uh, more of our bison, more of us, more of the content in general, you know, check out our members section. What do you guys think, huh? Not much left of the pond, is there? You guys got to start going in that coop. Seriously. It's going to start getting cold. Don't say I didn't warn you. And there is not much left of that pond. If you guys have been watching through the summer, you saw how much water there was right up to the edge. Man, look at how low that is. She's gone. We're not going to have water in there again until the spring runoff. Now one thing you guys might have noticed, maybe uh, looking at the ducks there, is that uh, there's only six out there. And uh, well, there's a reason for that. Well, a couple of reasons actually. Um, one, we got some predators running around out here. Coyotes, fox, thinking coyotes, we're not 100% sure. In fact, I thought I just saw one flying, not a coyote flying, but a uh, predator, hawk or something flying. But, you know, when you get old, start seeing things apparently. Anyway, uh, no, we got some predators running around out here. And I'm not talking about the raccoons, I'm talking about, uh, you know, the bigger predators, the ones that keep coming back and back and back once they find a, a food source. So that's not a good thing. But the other reason why we're missing a few ducks is because uh, a lot of those ducks that we had uh, were mallards. and Mallards will, not always, but will fly south when uh, when it starts getting into fall, and that's what happened. And the only reason I know that is because uh, I just happened to be outside when I saw them take off up in the air, and they rarely ever fly uh, much more than around the yard here. And uh, this time they went up, and they were circling, and all of a sudden took off. And what way do you think they were heading? Well, south. And uh, we two more two came back, and then uh, they were gone again. And woke up the next morning to a total of six ducks. So that's all we got left for now. Now the interesting thing about that is, is that come spring, assuming they survive, you know, hunters and other predators, and uh, you know, depending on how far south they south they go, you know, but uh, there's a good chance they'll come back in the spring. And I've seen that happen. I've seen, uh, you know, half a dozen ducks leave and four make it back the next spring. All of a sudden you, you got ducks that you hadn't seen in six months wandering around in your, uh, in your yard. So, could happen. More progress on the hay shed. Got more mortar in there. As 
some of it's newer so it's darker colored the older stuff is lighter and then on the back side here you can see now one thing just wanted to point out that uh, top layer there that was actually a pretty pretty wide gap I could not put just one single application of mortar in between the joints there so I got to do it in two stages put one layer in let it cure up a little bit harden up and then put the second layer on otherwise it's just too much and the mortar just won't stay in there it'll start to slide out or it'll start to slump and uh, create gaps anyway you guys can see what that looks like come around over to this side here and again you can see so this side's completely done almost done there got a few more pieces uh, that we got to put up on the roof and the framing will be done and the next step is putting up the sheathing once that's in place, we'll actually be able to start putting hay in there. How are you guys today, huh? Yeah. Foggy out there today, isn't it? Yeah, we'll get you guys some food here shortly. Just doing some end of season work here, getting some of these trails fixed up and uh, you know, moving some dirt around and uh, taking care of a couple brush piles and stuff like that. So, got to get it done before it snows, which who knows, could be tomorrow. stop and take a second to show you guys how foggy it is out here this morning look at that definitely foggy out huh guys Sapphire. How are you? You guys can see in the tree line there too, especially with the sun going down. Almost all the leaves are gone for the year. A couple little pieces here and there, but that is about it. So this is what we're going to be looking at probably, uh, well, for the next <laughs> six, seven months, six months at least. Well, anyway, folks, we hope you enjoyed the video today, and uh, thanks for joining us with our animals here. We, we do enjoy sharing with you guys, and if you haven't done so already, hit that little subscribe button down below. You know, it shows your support, but it also helps to motivate us to make more videos. And uh, right now i got to motivate myself up this hill without tripping. Anyway, we'll see you guys next time.